Reggie and Jake are friends. They meet Jenny. They become friends. Then Reggie and Jenny fall in love. And they're like, what? We got to save this thing. And so they go to, um, oh, there's time travel in there. So then there's a spaceship named Steve. And that that's good. And then Jenny's like, what? And then Reggie comes back. And he's like, I told you. And then, and then um, Jake's like, yeah. And then everyone goes, hooray. And then um, there's clapping at the end, I think. Jenny is um, a turkey that Reggie kind of meets suddenly. He really falls into her arms. And, um, and they kind of quickly fall for each other. Or Reggie falls for Jenny and spends a, a good time in the film trying to impress her. And she's, she's impressed by his... Um, by his sensitivity, his sweetness. And I think they're both a little awkward. But uh, she's definitely the leader of the two. When, when things go down, Reggie tends to hide behind Jenny, which is what a lady wants in, in, in her man. And her big thing in the film is that she believes that people are stronger together than they are apart. Her idea of... Um, ensemble and collaboration and the group is only as strong as its weakest member and the whole is what's important and the flock is what she's fighting for. She comes from a long tradition of proud turkeys who, who supported and looked out for each other. And that message is really cool in the film, the idea that, you know, being, um, you know, being in a group and, and failing and succeeding together is what it's all about. And I can certainly relate to that. I was excited to work with Jimmy again. We worked together on a film called Horton Hears a Who many years back, and I really enjoyed working with him. Um, I was also ex very excited to work with Woody and Owen, both of whom I've worked with um, in live action in small ways. Although, wait, I haven't worked with Woody, but in my mind I have. But I, um, So I was excited to be involved in a project they were involved in, certainly. It's really nice when you're in the booth and you're with someone who likes to play around and keep things kind of loose. Um, and it's really exciting to get to develop a character with someone. I like to improvise and, or at least be given the freedom to. So uh, that's been really fun. And um, as you know, with animation, most people kind of know this at this point. Animation is no longer this big mystery about how it works, but you slowly start to see the character develop, not only in your performance, but in the, you know, the animation itself. I think it's funny and sweet. It's a good story about two friends. There's a lot of really weird, great time travel and action. Thanksgiving is a very specific holiday for like most people and everybody has a thing that they do and it's also when you're young it's around that time when you start feeling um, the crispness of the change of season and it's like a nice harbinger I think for winter is coming. Well I love Thanksgiving. It's a great holiday because it's eating with no presents which is awesome and I come from Massachusetts so Thanksgiving was a big deal. There were a lot of dressing up for pilgrims and you know we always had to kind of go to the historical sites in Massachusetts when Thanksgiving was coming around in school. Um, it's not it's a little different in the warmer cities out here in Los Angeles where I am now as you can tell from the studio. Um, Thanksgiving is a little strange because it's just like 80 degrees. It's not quite the Thanksgiving I remember but I'm not complaining. Uh, but Thanksgiving memory Hmm. Lots of, uh, well, the kids' table was a big deal. Sitting at the kids' table, graduating from the kids' table, moving on to the adults' table, and realizing the kids' table is actually where it's at. 